Fully Loaded Foodie Family, how you guys doing? Uh, back at it again, out here in, where are we? We're in Napa. Are we in Napa? Not in Yountville or nothing? No, it's okay. in Napa. We're in Napa, California, uh, uh, Northern Bay Area, at a place called... Squeeze and Hamburgers. Squeeze and Hamburgers, N-I-N-N, -N -N. Hamburgers. Uh, for the... Um, the cheese skirt. So they put the shredded cheese on your burger and it melts into a, a cheese. It's like skirt, a little skirt on the outside of the, of the butt. And we'll show you when we get our food. We're yeah. waiting on that. We added bacon, grilled onions, and mushrooms. And we got some large fries and just a regular pound of food. And we're going to split it because... We got plans. Yeah. So, uh... Hold on tight. Here we go. Yeah, and then, yeah, it got, it got, it got crowded real quick. So, lucky for us, we boarded, sitting down, waiting for our food. Should be ready in a second. Bring that to you. Food is ready. Just got it brought it to the table. They split it, but you see this cheese skirt. You know, this thing is crispy. Oh, look at that, it's brown on the inside. So this is um, half, and it's got grilled onions, mushrooms, and bacon in there. And yeah, 10 bucks for the burger. What, $2 for the drink. Price of $4.80, it looks like, on the menu. So what I did was I broke off the skirt and threw it in the sandwich, in the burger. So that that was a win. Absolute. That was a good burger. It was they seasoned the meat because it was actually a little salty, but we did get mushrooms, onions, and bacon. The the patty was um was I don't say burnt because we got it. It was medium. It was pretty much well, pink inside. Mm -hmm. Um but the patty was had that crust on the outside. Yeah, that good sear. The, yeah, the real, very good sear, and, and and of the seasoning, you know, that's obviously seasoning. Um, and you could taste it. It was, it was. And those fries were really good. good. Yeah. They were not soggy. They were, you know, and they weren't even fluffy on the inside. It was more like a. I don't know. They were just good. And we put salt and pepper on them, so that I mean, but the way that they were fried, they were really good taking that cheese skirt off and tucking it inside of the burger just it was just good yeah just just good yeah, yeah, yeah. you know that burnt everybody i'm not saying everybody because not everybody likes cheese but those of us that enjoy that crispy cheese that burnt in the, the edge the burnt edge of cheese or like whatever. the mac and cheese the yeah. top crispy right right 
Right. You that, would love that. Yeah. Yeah. That and was very good. We left. We were in there for maybe 15 minutes. We got our food actually pretty quickly, but there were like 30 people. I mean, that place was packed. So we walked in. There were two people there were two sitting Two people down. when we walked in. We left and there were like five parties of five and more people walking up. Crazy. Yeah, the line started out, started heading out the door. Um, yeah, we got there just in time, but it's that time of the day. It's lunch, you know. So we're in Napa. We're on a little foodie adventure. This is one of those culinary regions of California. But we just left to squeeze in hamburgers. We did a fantastic burger with some fries. And we are on our way to Dutch Brothers, which is a coffee franchise that has not been available to us until recently. I think they just started opening up some locations in the Bay Area because I think the only one I know of is Sacramento, which is not the Bay Area. It's pretty far. Took a look at the menu. They didn't have breakfast, so that's why we made a stop at Squeeze In to eat a meal first because we were starving. Split the burger. Yeah, and it's a good thing that we did because... Yeah, it's a good, it's a good burger. You know, all the fixings and everything made it bigger, um, more not bigger, but just more. Yeah, I feel like I ate an entire burger. Right. I feel like I ate half. Right. right. Got the bacon on it. Got the mushrooms and, and the grilled and onions and, and the, the cheese and then the more cheese. Um, a lot of cheese. Oh, that was good. Good burger. But yeah. Getting in trouble trying to stay out of trouble. Yeah. So we'll see you at Dutch Brothers. We love it over here. Guess this place is pretty popular because uh this is the line. Oh, they're not gonna lie. It's you, moving. You did get the car from Car Max. So they got this um, chocolate crunch freeze thing going on. We're uh, we're not gonna order that, but that's the feature. We are gonna go with an iced coffee. I'm gonna pick one of the classics. I want to go with the double torture because I want to see how strong they can get it. They do have this one that says six shots. Um, I can't even imagine how much that costs, let alone how much it tastes, but why is it so light? But yeah, one of those and like a muffin top or something. We just want to see what they're working with. <laughs> yeah, that's what they have to eat, muffin tops. Mm. I love muffin tops. That's what I got from the marbles <laughs> over here. <laughs> This is what we're working with. This is, uh, did you say medium? I think I did. This is a medium. This is a heavy medium. A big opening on the top. And chocolate chip muffin. It's cold though. That's upsetting because I wanted to eat it right away. This is the double torture. So it's a vanilla mocha with an extra shot. It's it, it's good. Yeah, it, it's not. It's very coffee forward. Very coffee forward. But I mean, you, you, you're getting what you ordered. We we ordered something called a double torture. So it better be very coffee forward to 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 call to you know to have it. Called double torture. That's what we but came for. That vanilla is 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 not hiding either. That vanilla's out there, you know, and, and 
the chocolate, this, this is good. This is actually pretty good. It's a little much for my liking. I'm not that, that much of a coffee person, but you know, I, I don't not like coffee. I don't think it's like disgusting unless it's disgusting. Um, Napa is gorgeous. This is why we like to come out here. It's just a, a peaceful drive. And you know, I feel like either we're really lucky or it's just always nice weather up here. Look at that. No, we just come when the weather's nice. <laughs> Which is often. Yes, because it's California. Right. And it, it being summer right now, we're just... Right. Wine country, Napa Valley. It's just, you know... I had to take the hoodie off. It's, it's getting hot. It's like 80... It's 81 right 81 now. 81 degrees today. 81, nice little breeze. Hope you can hear me. crossed over in the outfield. It's all Napa to me. I don't... Right. Napa or Calistoga. Wine country, Napa. No disrespect to St. Helena. You know. Or Rutherford. Right. I can shout out to, 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 to uh, St. Helena. Which is actually, in my opinion, uh, more fun than Napa. For the obvious reasons. Most of these wineries, vineyards are actually in St. Helena. Most of the wire, the wineyards, wineries and vineyards and whatnot in Napa Valley are in St. Helena. Never seen a vineyard. I actually drive by two of them. They're right across the street from each other, but they're, they're not the same family. Right. Yeah. Didn't catch the names, but that's commonplace out here. We'll probably pass by some more. And a lot of these vineyards are, are owned by wineries that aren't even down here. Wonderful. 
Oh. I'm playing out here. There's too much competition out here. Everyone has to be on their A game in the food industry. Just past Robert Montnavi. <coughs> different type of turn up. This is relax while you turn up, turn up. I mean, we're, we're passing people walking on a highway. Groups. We just passed a group of four uh, very well-dressed <laughs> white women. Just walking. Walk, just walking up the highway. And I mean, when I say very well-dressed, I mean like those clothes look expensive. They were very well dressed. Not suits, but you know, business suits or anything, but they were uh, smart casual. Yeah. We're gonna turn the camera around and catch some of this because you guys are missing out. Don't right. mind the muffin top in the window, right. by the way. We're trying to warm it up. Yeah, it was cold. But right here to the right of this lane, this is where those women were walking. And it's just winery. Vineyard. Vineyard after winery after vineyard. And there's some restaurants and some stores sprinkled in. And there is a difference. All vineyards don't have wineries. And all wineries are not vineyards or do not have vineyards. I'm going to get that muffin top out of the window. What's that? The Sony family. And the prisoner the, the wine. The prisoner company. wine company over here. Nothing out front. It's called TPW Company. TPW and Company. The Prisoner Wine. Raymond. I mean, this is just if you don't mind driving and just people watching. And, I mean, it's just so open, you know. You're surrounded by buildings all the time and you come out here you just you can appreciate all this open space and the weather's beautiful and I mean look how much of the blue sky we get to see it's it's a nice drive and people drive differently here than they do in a city so we can just take it easy on the gas and just look at everything we drive by it's really nice this is Visa Tui this is his favorite. Look at My this place. My favorite place up here. Visa Tui Winery. They got picnic tables. It is Monday. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, people. Tell me they aren't drinking. And you know they're driving home. They probably live 20 minutes away. There's the bunny. I want one of those. Yep. Let's get one for in front of the house. But yeah, Gavin known to, you know, this is the first place to open back up after the, uh... This is the famous Sutter Wine. Sutter Home Winery. No, Sutter Home. Um, yeah. Uh, California, the first place in California to open up was Napa, Napa Valley. Yes. And, you know, there are reasons to that. Um, money. Money. Yeah. So, that's why, they're, they're, you know, you get highway patrol out here pulling everybody over. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody gonna come. And no. You get home safely. You're yeah, responsible yeah. Be adults. responsible. Yeah, there you go. You know how much you've had. Right. No one's out here sloshed. You know. And if they are, they're not drinking. I mean driving. The thing is, people come out here for a weekend. Yeah. They do overnights. They do day trips. St. Helena. You know, like we're doing right now. We don't live close, but we don't live super far. Yeah, we don't. We don't have a destination. Yeah, we, we usually, we usually have some sort of a destination. Like we're gonna have breakfast in in this area, yeah. or on our way to wherever. But it's my favorite A and W over there. It's pretty old school. <laughs> you go inside, it feels like A and W yeah. did. You know, yeah. it's nostalgic. Yeah, and it's big. We don't really have standalones. I think they're partnered with like what is it, KFC. So that's like an original one. There's a, like an event center or something. Train tracks to my right. It's another winery back there. And I 
mean, just, you know, shops and restaurants and wineries. Farm state. Farm. Oh, yeah, this is a, a popular spot. I don't think we've been. We're always getting nudged to a to go whenever I search for something new. Farm said keep talking about I think I somehow ended up on their email list, but yeah, this is a uh, Gotts. Gotts Burgers on the left. Gourmet. Gotts Roadside. Now, this place is busy. You see all those people. I'm going to say squeeze in is better. <laughs> Probably an unpopular opinion. I mean, they don't serve wine at squeeze in. Yeah, they're not like in the heart of, they were off the beaten path, so. But that's where you get the good stuff. I mean, when somewhere is that popular that you've got a thousand people in front, you can't carefully and passionately make my food. And I want you to love what you're doing when you cook because it comes out in the food. Those guys were having fun at Squeeze In. I think, where are we getting close to? What's coming up here? I don't know, but we're in St. Helena. Yeah, so. Downtown St. Helena, rather. But getting close to, we're getting close to a few things. Then, is Bouchon up that way? No. No, that's behind us. Darn. I finished all the coffee. minutes ago it said 35 minutes oh so we get to calistoga that's the direction we're heading and we're not intending to go more stores more restaurants station. it's a coffee shop a gas station turned into a coffee shop but it's still a gas station <laughs> beautiful St. Helena, California, in the Napa Valley. Just out and about, doing what we do occasionally on our days off. Walking down Main Street, figuring we stop in this little spot, Woodhouse Chocolate. See what they do.
St. Helena, the city of St. Helena here in Napa Valley. We just left Woodhouse Chocolate. She got herself a bag here. What's in it? 12 oh. piece. A 12 of, piece. A good variety. I just started oh, okay. pointing just. in one of those. One of, there's only one of each though. Oh, okay. So oh, we have. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So we got a dozen. So here we are in uh, Napa on um, First Street by a uh, place known as the Oxbow Market uh, Marketplace. Um, we got Gots right here. There's another one here in Napa, uh, in the city of Napa. The other one was St. Helena. Then there's the Oxbow Marketplace there behind us. Gonna go in there and um, Probably grab some, or well, definitely grab something to uh, snack on, something to drink, and then something to snack on again. And then we're gonna get something to drink. That's how we get it. Maybe we'll get some oysters and some cupcakes. Definitely get cupcakes. There's there's a variety of options here. Let's go. Yeah, the mushroom and the corn and red pepper. Oyster Bar here at the Oxbow uh, Marketplace in Napa, California. It's pop for a Monday. I uh, we uh, we went over to the uh, what was the name of that bar? Bar Lucia. Or bar Lucia. Yeah, Bar Lucia, Bar Lucia, and uh, I got the uh, margarita one. And that is what? Thank you. What did you get? The drink? Uh, oh yeah, the uh, froze with gin in it or rock in it or tequila in it or oh rose with. So this is vodka, grapefruit. Oh oh, you got that one. Yeah. Oh okay. We'll show you. We'll show you. Yeah, we ordered bread and butter. Oh, jeez. Um, I think she ordered about what she ordered? Six 18. grilled oysters. About 18? And a dozen raw oysters. So mix. I think the grilled oysters are Cajun, there's jalapeno, and there's herb 
Oysters. About 18 oysters, and yeah, and we're, you know. They'll probably give us two of each on the menu. Right, because it says mixed. It doesn't tell you what exactly it's mixed with. That's, that's spicy. So, yeah, out here doing what we do. I'll eat with a little more care. Slow it down. I'll savor it. Get that trolley in a minute. That's the herb butter, and that's the roasted jalapeno. Mixed grill. Uh, on a bed of rock salt. So which one was this one, sweet? The, uh, butter, herb saffron. Butter saffron. Herb saffron. Herb saffron. Sorry. I'm sure, there's some butter in there though. Can okay, you see that? See the steam coming off of that? That's hot. oyster I've ever had. I like that. Yeah, you're good. It's still too hot. Look at that. Yeah, you know, it's not that hot once you put it in your mouth. Which one is that? The grilled jalapeno or something? Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, if you look at the menu, it starts with uh, lemon jar. Those are the sweet waters. And it just goes down the list. Okay, cool. All right. Clockwise. Gotcha. Thank, Thank you, man.
guys. Have a good one. Take care, man. Mong, uh, mango and uh, chocolate chip. Uh, and sorry, what was the second one? Chocolate oh. chip. 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 Yeah. Uh, chocolate chip and mango. This one? Yes, oh. and mango and uh, kids corn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've done that. Not that. One, two, three. One mango. Yeah. Ah, uh, no. Uh, each one, just one. Okay. Ah, okay, yeah, 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 <clears throat> All right, we're in downtown Napa, California, just leaving uh, the Oxbow Public Market place. And uh, I must say, it's been a hell of a day. I'm drinking hibiscus tea mixed with lemonade. I don't know if you can still call that an Arnold Palmer. Huh? That's funny. But yeah, can you, can you, could, would, you, would you consider this an Arnold Palmer? No, nah, huh? I mean, it's tea and lemonade, it's half and half. It's just, yeah, there you go. All right, if Arnold Palmer was gay, this is, uh, this, this is what it, <laughs> Happy Pride Month, I'm saying. If he was gay, this is what the Arnold Palmer would taste like. I just call this the gay Arnold Palmer. Do what? No? It's, it's an upgrade, that's for sure. It's a your color and it tastes better. It tastes better. better. Yeah, I was going to say, it tastes good as hell. But, um, yeah. She just reminded me of how fat we've been today. By breaking down all of the uh, places we've been. We, the way when when she when she put it that way when when she put it the way she put it she's got a point. We we started well I'll let I'll let her break it down to you, but we've absolutely been we we've indulged today, you know. But you know I've said it before I'm gonna say it again. We work hard. So, you know, we, we need, you know, you got, you, we all, you know, you got to take care of yourself occasionally. You got to go out, have a good time. Um, even if it's something as simple as walking, you know, finding a trail uh, 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 close to, 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 to where you live. And, um, you know, fixing yourself a cocktail to go finding that trail and walking it you gotta do it i'll let her tell you how fat we've been <laughs> it'd be my pleasure let's see we started off with the squeeze in that's the uh the burger that we had with the cheese skirt and the bacon and the mushrooms and the onions and then we went over to Dutch Brothers Coffee and had the, uh, what is it called? Double. The, 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 the double heart attack? No, the heart. double trouble, double. Something. Double shot vanilla mocha. Didn't eat the uh, chocolate chip muffin because it was, uh, it was cold. cold. Yeah. Um, but still, got yeah. the chocolate chip muffin top. We will be eating it before yeah. the day is over. Then we, uh, we stopped and got a dozen pieces of some fine chocolates um, and then what did we do next we came over to Oxbow and we bought some cupcakes we each got a cocktail 
went over to at, at uh, Bar Lucia, and then we went over to Hog Island and had half a dozen grilled oysters and a dozen raw oysters and some three dollar bread and butter. Oh man, you know. And then we went and got some ice cream. And now we are on our way out because I think that's uh, more than enough. But uh, yeah, this is this is a nice little day trip. We haven't even been up here for half of the day and we got all of that accomplished. And uh, we're gonna enjoy the ride home.